Good evening, friends of Lilypad and Memory Lane Toys. It's another video here. Showcases about 200 cars here. Probably won't get through them all tonight. Got some really neat ones. Semi trucks. Some vintage stuff. And, uh... I don't know, I'll get through maybe half of them tonight during this video. Get right with it here. It's a mixture, mostly Matchbox, super fast. Some other oddballs like this mixed in. Got this Corgi Fire Chief. Uh, Ford Capri or Mercury Capri, we call them over here. These are still pretty dusty, and older gentleman had them on a shelf for many years. Got a Volkswagen with a high top, both doors, matchbox. If you want to get with all the numbers, looks like this is number 34. Got a Citroen here from 1973. Citroen wagon with the opening hatch and the trailer hitch. Silver Rolls Royce Silver Shadow. Opening doors. Must be from the late 70s. Looks like 79. These are all mixed up. Earlier, Jaguar 3.4, number 65. Love that opening hood. Somebody put some racing stripes on it. And a couple of these Mercury commuters, police wagon, uh, number 55. Another one, this one's a little bit nicer. It's got all the stickers on it still. They did not put dogs in the back of these. These have a little bit different interior. They've got like cones and other equipment in the back. A little bit newer Mercury Station Wagon, Villager. This one is number 74 from 19, I think it says 78 on it. We'll flip down, plastic door, no animals in the back on this one, never had them. How about a Tamika, little gull wing going on there, Mercedes Benz 300 SL, Tamika pocket cars, made in Japan, a little Mini Cooper. They say Racing Mini from 1970, and it is number 29. Both stickers, nice little car. And we got a couple of these. Uh, again, Ford Capri from 1970. This is the Matchbox version, number 54 maybe. These have an opening hood that reveals a chrome plastic engine and a trailer hitch. Same thing here, same car, it looks like about the same condition. Got the Volkswagen uh, number 15, 1500 Saloon in white. Not too bad. While we're talking Volkswagen, we got a couple of these, the 1600 Fastback, number 67, purple with the super fast skinny tires, a couple of those as well, this one's a little bit worse for the wear, not too bad. And we got the roll of Maddox, number 57 wildlife truck. The lion is lost on safari and the 
cap is gone. And we got the looks like number 59 Porsche 928. Really nice kind of gold color. And we got the BMW um, M1, I guess. Team Matchbox. Racing car, uh, Volkswagen, Golf, Rabbit, still has the surfboards on top. Again, I have not cleaned these. This is kind of an unboxing video. A couple of these earlier ambulances. Kind of a generic Chevy square body. And different little different stickers on them and number 41 a couple more Volkswagens it's got the opening roof a little bit of sun damage number 23 maybe a little bit newer version, the pizza van. Nothing opens. Back to a regular wheel, the Ford refuse truck, garbage truck. Got that uh, dumping action going on there. And this is an earlier version of the forklift. Javelin trailer hitch intact, yellow interior, 1972, number nine. This is one you don't see every day. Pretty nice Lincoln opening trunk, thin wheel. And this is probably the last, well, I guess they made some newer ones where they carved this out, carved out the rear wheel wells and put some wider tires on it. Uh, number 31, Lincoln Continental. And we got a BMW here in orange. little rough for the wear <laughs> red interior slightly rare matchbox number 20 Chevy Impala taxi 1964 car and we have uh, looks like a number 30 beach buggy love that spackle paint <laughs> speckle paint U.S. mail Jeep with the top. These are uh, Roman numeral cars. Jeep CJ6. Always reminds me of President Ronald Reagan. It's uh, number 53. Got some army trucks here. Most of these are roll matics Roll and the guy turns around. And that one is the Stoat. And we got the Troop Carrier. Got the Jeep with the gun on it. Got the, uh, they call this the uh, self-propelled gun. Swamp Rat. While we're on boats, we've got the police launch. And 
and back into cars we got a Porsche and that is the just says turbo so 914 maybe Volkswagen hi-ho silver There's a couple versions of this they kind of changed the name with the color and this one same casting same car and this one's called Volkswagen Volkswagen Speaking of dragon, we got dragon wheels here. Kind of a funny car version. Totally different casting, but still a Volkswagen nonetheless. Porsche 959. Ask me how I knew what that car was. And this one here is the Porsche looks like a 935 or 925, probably a 35. Racing. And then we got a Group C racer. These have a little different wheels on them. So it must have been the sun a little bit, maybe. Almost looks pink. Matchbox Lincoln. Number 28 maybe. Another little bit newer Volkswagen ambulance here. And Ford Courier. I love the giant camper on the little truck. Gotta love it. Right. Later issue. Scout uh, field car. Always looks like an international scout. Super fast version. And a couple of these. Double flip dumper. Always like the engine and chassis detail on this. Another one, transitional, super fast. Real nice. Mercedes truck and trailer, number one and number two. Regular wheel with caps, pretty nice. And let's see here, we've got a much newer version, super fast, I guess someone decided we needed a, a hot rod dozer, so this is called Big Bull, the big Cobra V8 in it, it says. <laughs> Interesting model. Tracks are a little crispy. I won't uh, try rotating those. And we got the Cetra Coach in magenta. This also came in gold and yellow. Thin wheel. Another, I uh, would call it a transitional Dodge Crane truck. Pretty nice. And Tojo. Not to be confused with Stretch a Fetcha. Both hooks. Pretty cool. This one kind of replaced that one later on with the Ford Transit. A little more realistic truck. Couple versions of that. That one's missing one hook. This one's got a little different radio dispatch livery on it with both hooks. A 
this semi dump truck Leyland. Got this early dozer, real nice shape. Tracks a little bit crispy. These were displayed, so they got dried out. But other than that, real nice. And you got the Scammel Snow Plow. Spelled P L O U G H. Proper English. Was one of my favorites. And look, it's not broke off yet. Most, a lot of those break off pretty easy. Speaking of stretch of fetcha, we've got one right here. Who's never had a patient? And let's see here. Got a couple of these. Overcraft. There's that one, and then this one here. Got a little Honda motorcycle. Very nice. Handlebars aren't broke off. Kickstand's still there. Another Volkswagen. And this one's called Flying Bug. For obvious reasons. A little bent, a little worse for the wear. It's like somebody played with it. Got the Burger Paints London Double Decker. Esso Extra Petro Green London Double Decker. A bit older one. This, I believe, is a Tamika. Uh, don't call me. It doesn't say Tamika. Yes, it does. Tommy. Little loader there. But there was another one too that was a Tamika. Had a few. And Corgi dump truck. Trying to get some of the older stuff. I call it a night. Whoosh and push. Kind of a Volkswagen type engine on the back of it. But a big heavy car. So I'll show a couple of these older semi trucks. Pretty cool. Vintage. Earlier. You tell by the wheels. And then those are Kenworth trucks. And they used, and they also did the pipe truck. Very similar. These are smaller, these are not king size. And the Firestone truck caps on backwards. Opening goes to the rear. And this is how the matchboxes all got delivered. This one's not a matchbox, but I thought it was interesting because it looks definitely like a Mack truck. Front end, even though it's kind of a generic, you know, Westwood shipping lines, paper decals, like it was made specifically for that company. But I like the fact that it's definitely a Mack truck. And of course, Matchbox went to the newer stuff with those wheels, keeping up with that line. And the shell truck, 
Same thing. I like the chrome on it. It's pretty cool. And let's see. A couple more here. Qantas bus in red. It's a little bit rarer. Most of those buses look like this. Say American Airlines on them. And let's see, we've got this little trailer caravan, pretty nice shape. A couple of these. Worth mentioning, still a little dusty, haven't cleaned these yet. Dump truck to match it. All right, I think we're going to call that a night. Thank you very much. Again, it's the lily pad and memory lane toys underscore 64 on eBay. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.